Hey, this is Mike with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the real basics of editing in Audacity um, audio software. So I have Audacity open right here. And if you'll notice at the top left, I've got this little uh, record button. It's the little red button. And if I click on it, I'll start recording. And you'll see that I have my uh, sound wave that starts to be created. So I'll talk and I can make mistakes. I can say, um, I can do whatever I want, I'll be able to cut all that stuff out later. So now that I've recorded what I want, I'll stop it, and that's a little stop button right there. And now I've got my content. Now, one thing that you'll want to know how to do is cut your um, Audacity audio. First, let me um, listen to it, and I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but let's take a listen. So now if I wanted to get rid of the word, oops. So now if I wanted to get rid of the word um here, I'll select it and I'll listen to it and make sure that's what I want to get rid of. Okay, so I want to get rid of that um. So to select it, all you do is click and drag. So let me do that again. I'm just going to click and drag. Um, and now I'm going to hit delete. So I'll just hit delete. And then that goes away. And now uh, I've got that audio is right there. I can import different tracks, so if I wanted to have a sound effects track I can, uh, or a music track, I can pull that in. Uh, it's very easy to pull in an MP3 file, so uh, let me just go ahead and I'm going to go up to File and Import and Audio. And you can import any uh, MP3s or WAV files or anything like that. So I've got some applause in here, and let's import some applause, and I'll say open. So now that applause is imported, and now I can listen to that. But now I want the applause to come before my text, my, my um, voice, so what do I do? Uh, if you notice, I've got all these buttons up here on top, and these do different things. This button over here allows me to do time shift, and I'll click on the time shift tool. And I can just drag my original text over there, my original audio right there. And now uh, that's all I need. I can listen to it. And I've got the applause. And then my audio starts right in there. So there are lots of other things that you can do. Um, one of the best things that you can do is click on the effects button up here. And you see all the different effects that you have. You can um, do noise removal. You can change. You can amplify things. You can make the sound proper between one and the next. But that's the very basics. That's how you crop things. That's how you add tracks. And then all you need to do is export it. And I'll say File, Export. And I can either export it as an MP3 file or as a WAV file. And then I'm all done. And if you want more tutorials, there's great stuff on LinkedInLearning.com, and I've got the link for you um, right in the PowerPoint that I'm sharing with you folks.